Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with ReZero Season 2 Part 2 Episode number 11. Alright, the previous episode, it was uh, one of the best episodes of Season 2 and like I have to say, like it had two, you know, uh, major parts, two parts that shined the most in the whole episode. Uh, one of the, it was like the whole um, Elsa situation, the whole Elsa's backstory and how she was defeated and the other portion was uh, ram and roswell so i have to say like <sighs> it's something really amazing the way they do the episodes you know how like you know like i've always seen anime episodes where usually one part shines you know like only one part is extremely uh, like amazing and uh, like after the episode ends you kind of think that wow like that uh, part was so damn amazing like there are like these like you know specific episodes in certain animes like Rizero already has one which was uh, in season one it was uh, the rem episode uh, episode number 18 uh, and in season two part one it was the bunny episode like one thing happens which is so amazing that you like the you know the whole focus kind of goes into that but this episode had like the previous episode had two parts the whole like ram versus roswell and elsa versus garfield and that was amazing i have to say and i really you know um liked uh, the whole elsa's backstory and how she was true to her desires up till the end and also ram's like uh, the thing whole thing with the ram kind of um you know like just like how uh, roswell like is bound to his past ram also kind of wants to bring him back out of it yeah and also another thing which is quite unrelated to this uh, which i kind of thought like i kind of noticed after watching the previous episodes uh, another time which is uh, i noticed that they have not shown us ekidona's face in the back you know in the backstory when they were like uh, like narrating everything uh, the whole roswell and like ekidona's meeting like we never once saw her face i was really confused at that and later on i also noticed one thing when emilia came out of the trial and uh, came to ekidona's body in the previous episode she said that who is this and i really did not notice it at that moment but now i think that is it somehow related to how ekidona's face is not shown in front of us in the backstories like why did emilia suddenly said that who is this like she herself has seen Ekidona, so why did she not recognize Ekidona? That and that also coupled with the whole factor that we have not seen Ekidona's face even once in the backstories. Maybe Ekidona really does not look like how she, you know, like we are perceiving her to be. Like how Subaru sees her, how uh, Emilia sees her. Maybe that was actually not how Ekidona actually looked like. Maybe Ekidona looks like someone else and he's, she's just like, you know, uh, like showing us uh, herself like this or something this is just what i thought i don't know if this is like you know something important but we'll probably get an answer later on yeah so yeah guys uh, like okay let's get started i'm talking for quite a while this episodes are usually quite long so yeah anyways guys so without further ado let's get started with v0 season 2 part 2 episode number 11 so yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is a preference, and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh yeah, this thing as well. The whole snow. Oh, they're here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, must be Roswell. I think so. Yeah. Ooh. What? Did you said we wanted? Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. Yeah, she, he's currently fighting with Roswell. Ah, oh, damn. Hmm. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, she has. Okay, let's see. I'm quite concerned about Ram, you know, like she kind of got blown up. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Is she okay? Like But she's okay, isn't she? Yeah. But Oh, what? There's no human alive as skilled as you. Okay, so you'll never be like that devil. Oh, the devil of melancholy that uh, the Hector is she is Buck talking about him. What's with his eyes? I made some. Like Beatrice, Rosal, they're too relied. Like they, like are too relied on upon Ekidona. Is she okay? Like, come on, like, just... Oh god, like... Okay. Oh, what? What? Oh, damn. All the uses are here. What? Oh my god, Emilia! <laughs> what? Yeah. What's happened to them? Look, they're shivering. What? Ekidona is here? What? 
That was Echidona's fault. What? Hmm. Oh. Um, are you going to shatter it or something? Yeah, that's Puck. Okay. Hmm. Up to the... <laughs> Half a day. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. And there you go. Now what? Hmm. Yeah. Come on, let's like... Whoa! What? Uh... Okay, she's fine. Okay, I, I was really concerned. Oh boy, wow. What? Oh! What the? Oh! 
Oh yeah, I, I was thinking like the bunnies are going to come. Oh boy. Yep, they're here. Uh, now what? Like you need to kill each and every one of them. Ugh. Yeah, the huge mana, you know. I like Roswell is also here, so. Um, I think Emilia can handle herself. Yeah, yeah, Emilia can handle herself. Okay. Okay, Beatrice's part. Hmm. Okay. You're protecting until the time comes. Yeah, we're still not seeing Echidona's face. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. We can see her eyes, but complete replica. Oh. Okay. Two copies. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. So this was the reason why she was. Okay. All right. Okay, I can kind of get it now. All right. Okay. Hmm. Oh, he started. Yeah, okay. Damn, he has. Wait, what? Oh, my God. God damn, I did not see this coming. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good. <laughs> okay for that uh...
off to see the world. Okay, okay. Oh God, come on, Beatrice. Just listen to him till the end, you know. Like, I'm sure he has something more to say. Oh boy. Okay, Petra and okay, they kind of are okay now. Okay, found her. Oh my god, come on! <sighs> dodge, dodge, okay, uh, whatever, <laughs> whatever works, you know? <laughs> he closed the door. That's true, you know? Come on, like... That would not be true, you know? Like it would have been something convenient for the time being. Like that's not what Subaru wants. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my god. Okay. But yeah. Yeah, that's what he was going to say. So Okay. Um What? What? What the? Oh god, not again. Come on. Like uh Yeah, he won't be able to. What? Oh yeah, that, that place. Oh no, it's, it's starting to catch on fire. Come on, open it. What?
Hmm. Yeah, the fire is going to come out, you know. Oh my god. Okay, it is uh, all right. Tell me it. Again, the past. She's like, she's just like Roswell. Okay, that's a good. Yeah. Okay, that's a good way. Yeah, like he needs our help. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Yeah, like she needed a goal, you know, like something to look forward to. Well, yeah, like, you know, so many times. Oh boy. Oh yeah, that's quite true, but still. Wow. Instead of hearing a goodbye, that might or might not happen. Live with me with a... Oh boy. <sighs> yeah.
Wow. Okay. Come on. Wow. Come on. Look. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> wow this was amazing And there they are. Wow. Yep. Beatrice is here, so... Yep. <laughs> choose me wow brilliant wow that was something all right <laughs> uh, this show never you know like stops surprising me and like you know the amount of uh what can i say emotions and everything that i expected from Beatrice and like you know Subaru's conversation uh, it was able to fulfill that and I'm truly glad that you know this is how it went and yeah like that was something and <laughs> like this episode is no way inferior to the previous episode the previous amazing episode like this this episode has its own charm and it's so like you know so good and I have to say like <clears throat> So, all right, so let's talk about this episode uh, one by one. I'll come to that portion later on. First of all, um, uh, okay, there was a bit of confusion in this episode, as always, you know, Rezero <laughs> episodes have kind of like, it's kind of confusing uh, for the first time that you see, then like eventually after, you know, repeating it uh, one or two more times, you can kind of understand what's happening. So. All right, so uh, in the beginning we see like uh, the like I was quite confused as to why the like you know uh, snow is falling, and then I remembered that previously like Roswell did the same thing with like you know Emilia like to corner her, uh, like she, he made the snow fall and everything, and so this is like his spell which he was going to activate or something, and um, uh, I'm not quite sure but I think this snow is somehow connected to the great rabbit. No, because in the previous uh like uh, in like season two part uh, one uh when this like the same snow was falling that was when uh, subaru uh, met with the great rabbit and it like killed him like that so that was excuse me that was what the first time when we saw the uh, snow and the great rabbit together in this episode as well so i'm guessing like um like this is like uh his power or something uh i don't know like roswell's power like he does this whole 
uh, like snowfall thing which i think needs a huge amount of mana or something and according to akiton as far as i remember the uh, uh, great rabbit comes where there's great amount of mana so obviously like roseval is there emilia is there all of them are there so like and the snow is falling so that's why i think uh, the great rabbits again like came so we saw uh, the rabbits two times in uh, this is the third time uh, two times in the previous uh, the first was when like the first meeting with subaru that and that time there was i think there was no snow like no snow was falling but uh, it was all like you know snow caked everything was like uh, full of snow and everything and there was like no p people left i'm guessing the great rabbit ate all of them i think so and uh and they were still like you know lurking there so subaru made met them and like it killed him as well so that was the first time the second time we saw the great rabbit was when subaru confronted um um roswell and roswell beat him up and that at that time the snow was falling so i think that's also something that roswell did at the same time so and the great rabbit came and devoured roswell but subaru kind of went uh, like like was like went away and he died like that just like that and this is the third time so i'm guessing that's connected somehow so that was why uh, like you know puck was like extremely concerned when he understood what uh, actually roswell is trying to do uh, when the snow was falling and he rushed to uh, protect the villagers and he like uh, like he did this barrier kind of thing and he like made this tree kind of thing as well uh, a weird like snow structure which emilia uh, saw and like you know went inside and then there's this um like the whole ryuzu situation and ryuzu says that uh like to completely like nullify this like this whole thing the sanctuary barrier stuff uh and the uh, like <clears throat> like to uh, nullify this we have to destroy the core which i kind of expected because obviously like the core was the main thing and uh she, like emilia uh, destroyed the spell that was like the that was coming out of ekidona and so like the main thing the core is still there so it has to be somehow removed or something has to do be done so which shima kind of did i'm guessing and shima and the original ruzu are no more and i think uh, Bil uh, bilma is there isn't she like that was shima wasn't it like the one who sacrificed herself again i think so yeah that is shima and uh, i think uh, the, the others are still there so uh, the other ruzus and then um yeah after like that happens and then we go to like emilia rushes to roswell and ram thankfully ram is alive i really like wish that because if they killed off ram it would have been all for nothing all like subaru's like uh, all the thing that subaru did so thankfully she's alive and like roswell is okay still and uh, like <laughs> like roswell has given up he's like oh my god like yeah like everything is gone like now what am i going to do but yeah and then like uh, obviously like emilia is quite strong so she was able to hold her ground against the rabbits as they were coming and going like they're coming and like she was freezing them and all so that was okay and then we get to the main portion of beatrice now uh, we kind of see uh, the past as to what actually ekidona told her so uh, like according to ekidona she said that all of the like knowledge that i've gathered you know like ekidona is greedy like uh, so like all the knowledge that i've gathered is going to be kept here in this library and you are going to be the librarian uh, like like ekidona knew that she was probably going to die so she said that like if both of us die all the knowledge will be gone so you stay here you keep watch on this library and wait for the person who will inherit my knowledge and wait for that person to come in front of you that's when your task will be over so i'm not quite sure what she she actually planned while saying this to uh, like you know beatrice but uh, as far my interpretation in the previous episode as i said uh, according to me i think um like ekidona wanted beatrice to make a decision herself i'm not completely sure if that was actually her plan or not or i am am i like looking too much into things but uh you know like i feel like ekidona said this because 
he wanted Beatrice to make a choice herself because obviously there's no such person who would even be here like come to this place and unless and until you know uh, Beatrice herself thinks that yeah this is that person who is even going to be that person for her like you know like it's kind of weird the the way like the uh, thing that Echidona tasked her to do is kind of vague and abstract so that's why I think uh, the main thing fell on Beatrice, like the uh, choice to make a decision herself. I think that is the main thing. So, like, yeah. And then, like, she kept waiting and waiting and, you know, like, she was more like she wanted someone to say that, yeah, uh, I'm that person, I've come here to save you. But there was no one like that, obviously. And she kept waiting and for 400 years and a shocking thing comes into light here so i was not expecting that i'm not sure what you know you guys uh, if you guys have expected this or not or you anticipated this but so the roswell that we saw is not the same roswell so what actually is happening i think like maybe you know like obviously roswell is a human isn't he so i never thought about this but now that i think about it it's kind of weird you know like how can roswell live for 400 years so like beatrice is a spirit so she can live you know but roswell is a human so i never thought about this but now that i think about it yeah it's quite quite weird so it kind of explained the situation so that roswell is not the same roswell so I, i'm guessing uh like after she died or something happened like you know something like that happened she like maybe like there are a few you know uh ways it could it could have gone maybe roswell had some children or something uh, uh in which he transported his memory into so that he can you know kind of keep living until and unless his wish comes true and i'm not sure like um if that is the actual case or maybe it's the same like you know like the way that with Ryuzu happens like Ryuzu kind of made clones of herself in which she she used to you know like transplant her memories so that she can keep living and uh, uh, doing her duty maybe that is something that happened uh, uh, with Roswell as well like these are all clones or something I'm not quite sure you know but maybe something along these lines and uh, like uh, Roswell kept on living because uh, he wanted to uh, I think she like he's reading books here and he's saying that replicating a soul and saving it in a vessel what is so he was uh, I'm not sure like so that means he wanted to uh, I'm guessing Yeah, so I'm guessing like he wanted to uh, resurrect Ehidona, didn't he? Like he is talking about vessels and stuff and souls. So like Ehidona's body was still preserved over there. Why do we, does he even need a vessel? Like Ehidona's body is still there. I'm not quite sure what his actual plan was, but I think it's something along these lines, you know, like the way he's obsessed with Echidona, I think it's somehow related to Echidona, like maybe resurrecting her or something uh, like that. So that was his plan. So, yeah. And um, OK, so enough about Roswell. So I think, yeah, as I was saying that uh, I think Roswell is something like that, like he used to transplant his memories into the future generations or something. That's how he could, like, you know, keep living on and on and on. So <clears throat> that's like the closest you can get to immortal immortality if you are a human, like, <clears throat> you know, transplanting your <clears throat> memories into the new something. <clears throat> so yeah, and then like <clears throat> she met with Puck, which uh, I'm also guessing is connected somehow to Ekidona from the uh, Frozen movie OVA. Um, like I kind of got the feeling that Puck is somehow also connected to Ekidona because we heard her voice a lot talking to Puck. So that's why like she said that uh, big brother you know big brother puck so <clears throat> obviously because she's a spirit of uh, like connected to echidona and puck is also a spirit maybe connected to echidona so yeah and <clears throat> then she also like saw that yeah like puck has her own stuff like you know like emilia and everything and she <clears throat> was like alone again kind of in a way and uh, 
so that's why like she like really did not care like uh, like super went away to the sanctuary as she is saying that she really did not bother much but then like subaru came in again and you know what happened in the previous episodes like how subaru said that i'm not that person and he she shut the door in front of him and obviously like subaru uh, i'm sure like subaru if subaru said that yeah i'm that person uh, as like beatrice said that i would have listened to that lie and i would have helped you but that's just like you are not uh, you know you are not uh, tackling the actual problem you're just kind of making it uh, you know you're kind of like saying something for the time being like that does not cure the disease it's just like you're just like patching it up for the time being so i'm sure like subaru does not want that that's why like she said like he said that i am not that person but like like let's be friends something like that <laughs> and <clears throat> Like Beatrice was still not buying it, you know, and like after that her thought process went into the direction as to like, yeah, like Subaru saying this, but I'm a spirit, like how long would Subaru even live, you know, so all of these kind of things like thinking about the future and all and, and like Subaru said in quite an amazing word here, you know, uh, where was that? I have to find it. Uh, God damn. I'm not sure if I can find it now but uh yeah i cannot find it w where was that word what like the, the thing that subaru said that uh, i think he said something along the lines of like instead of waiting for a uh, future uh like uh, that might or might not come you just you should like live your present fully something like that i think he said and <clears throat> yeah that's the thing you know like if beatrice just kept waiting like that what would have even happened she would have kept on waiting and even if someone came later on like she would have like reacted the same way she reacted to subaru so it's like a weird thing <laughs> like beatrice was just waiting for someone to go and put words into her mouth something like that like she wanted help but at the same time she did not like you know uh like she herself did not want to make that decision she wanted someone to come and say that yeah like um yeah i'm that person like uh and she would have like you know gotten a closure then but that would be kind of weird in a way because it would have been lying you know because subaru himself doesn't even know what actually uh, ekidona meant by like that person we don't we don't even know like if ekidona really meant something by saying that yeah that person would come is it something that she actually thought about and said or is just something she made up at that moment because you know when like in season one uh, season two part one when subaru asks ekidona that who is that person uh, i think ekidona said something about like uh, i don't know or something like that but who knows something like that she said and then subaru kind of you know went uh, mad at her and said that so you made beatrice wait for some person who you even don't know exist if he exists or not so like i'm guessing like uh, you know like uh, ekidona just said it for that time being and uh, like he wanted uh, beatrice to make a decision herself but you know beatrice like she like as because it was her mother's uh, words she wanted to uh, you know uh, keep uh, the promise and that's why she like just kept on waiting and did not even like think about making a decision herself so yeah like <clears throat> uh like i don't know like it's, i think it's something like that but yeah but uh after that like it was an amazing like thing that uh like <laughs> subaru's uh you know quotes that he said uh one after the other and yeah he's quite true uh, correct and i think beatrice kind of understood in a way but I'm not actually sure if he completely, you know, got the thing that actually Subaru was trying to tell her. And like she under like obviously like Subaru kind of, you know, said all of these things and like Beatrice kind of accepted it. But like I think it will take a little bit of time for her to actually accept the fact that yeah, like 
uh, the thing that my mom told me to do is something like this I'm sure it is something like this you know like the way it actually happened uh, like in a way Beatrice make, made that decision and uh, like when Subaru said that save me Beatrice was the one who took his hand it's not that Subaru came and just like you know <clears throat> said that yeah I am that person come on like we have some job to do <laughs> something like that no it was not that and which I think was the actual um, you know actual thing that Ekidona was trying to do and uh, was trying to make Beatrice realize because as we see like Beatrice is kind of childish in a way and so yeah like this is like uh, you know tough love or something <laughs> I'm not sure but it's some kind of thing like that like she just like gave Beatrice a weird abstract type of a, of an order and she expected Beatrice to learn uh, the reasoning behind her giving uh, some kind of like this kind of an order which unfortunately Beatrice was unable to do for the 400 years but thankfully she made a decision here and that's all that matters you know making the decision herself and <clears throat> yeah and one thing Subaru did which I was quite impressed with is like he said that okay like I can't be able to help you like you know but you might be able to help me <laughs> so save me and yeah like thinking about it this is the same thing which happened in season one you know like she like he went to Beatrice and asked for her help in which Beatrice said that okay I'll help you so <laughs> so he said did the same thing in this episode as well he said that like obviously like you are a great spirit you cannot like there's no problem you won't have any problem to uh, like keep alive or like keep living but obviously even if you are a big spirit you need someone you need someone to live with uh, like uh, like loneliness is something that will affect everyone each and everyone so that's why like you've been waiting so that's why I won't say like stuff like big stuff like yeah I'll save you or I'll like help you I, I, I can't do that because like I'm just like a normal human being so instead you help me so <laughs> Like take my hand and help me yeah that was uh, the, i think the best way you could kind of persuade beatrice so yeah <laughs> oh boy okay so yeah I, that was it and then like we see like beatrice and subaru uh you know like teleporting or something like moving to um in front of uh emilia and uh, like Emily was trying to stop the bunnies and they're here now so I think there won't be any more, more problem because as far as I can remember uh, Emi, uh, Echidona said that to uh, no it was was it Echidona no it was it was Daphne wasn't it Gluttony uh, Gluttony was called Daphne wasn't she yeah uh, she said that uh, to stop the you know to the, the bunnies you have to uh, first uh, prepare a bait of huge mana uh, make them uh, you know accumulate in one place and destroy each and every one at the same time so I'm guessing like they're going to do some kind of you know magic something after this after in the next episode and will blow the whole place up at the same time and by that I'm hoping that the bunnies die all at the same time so yeah, I'm not sure, but something like that, I'm guessing. And Emilia is also there, you know, so I'm guessing it won't be much of a problem. So yeah. Yeah, that was it, guys. This was uh, episode number 11. And I was like really, uh, like the way I uh, pictured this episode to be, it happened in the same way. And I'm glad about that. Like uh, I was kind of anticipating, like I, I was really like uh, excited about this episode, how Super would, you know, convince Beatrice and how would like Beatrice come out of this mess. So, okay, like it happened and I'm glad about it. And now Subaru has an extremely powerful ally because Beatrice is quite strong we have never been able to see Beatrice's power properly before 
but i think like she is quite strong you know because um like when she fought with elsa at that moment beatrice had given up on life so that does not like show us her actual power that was not her actual power she is i'm i'm hoping like, she's a lot stronger than we like think her to be so I mean, because she's a spirit you know and uh, like uh, like among the humans as as Puck said um Roswell is probably the strongest but that's because he's a human like his human capabilities will top him uh, and his power to uh, you know his power threshold he will reach it quickly but because uh, Puck and Beatrice are spirits they can you know be extremely stronger than all of the others so I'm guessing um, Beatrice is as powerful as Puck and Puck is pretty damn powerful you know Puck can probably destroy uh, the whole world or something so yeah oh wait a minute why did um why did puck say that roswell is the strongest because reinhardt is even stronger than roswell oh i think maybe reinhardt is a you know soulsman that's why like yeah 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 that must, must be it because roswell is a magician like he like puck himself said that you're a magician so I'm guessing like uh, Reinhardt is uh, you know, as you know like the um, like uh, his swordsmanship she like he's the what do you call it um, saint no no uh, I forgot the actual term that they use they uh, god damn it I forgot anyways uh, so yeah like you guys know what I'm trying to say like so he's that but he like i think that's why like it's something like that so as a magician uh, roswell is probably the strongest but i think reinhardt is even stronger than that because reinhardt i think in one of those like you know uh, episodes we saw where like subaru died uh, and like after like puck tried to destroy the whole world reinhardt came in and reinhardt destroyed puck or something so i'm guessing like reinhardt is like the strongest being at least i think so but yeah and yeah that was it that was uh, a great episode and uh yeah beatrice has joined subaru's team now subaru's team is quite strong now like emilia is there garfield is there otto um federica and uh, like ram is kind of in there and <laughs> beatrice now yeah, like they're, 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 they're gaining strength <laughs> oh my god all right so yeah like that's quite good and the next episode will probably be the end yeah i think of this season uh, episode number 12 so i'm quite sad you know like these zero like we'll have to i think wait again for a few uh, months or i'm i hope not a few years I'm not sure, but I hope it's not a few years. I think I hope it's like I sincerely hope it's a few months. So I'm guessing we'll have to wait again for the next season to come out. I really hope they do this quickly because I'm I'm sure like they'll make another season because Rizzo is quite popular, and like this is just uh, like a lot of uh, stuff is left to be you know try, like adapted because I think the light novel is quite ahead like by a lot of um, amount. So yeah, and I'm not sure, but like I hope they like announce season season three, season three, yeah, like they announce season three quicker. And if we get an announcement in the next episode, that will be just amazing. But I don't know, like <laughs> like that will be like you know extremely good luck. But yeah, I hope we get a like announcement soon because. Like Rizzo is amazing and I really want to you know keep watching this show so yeah so yeah guys thank you guys for watching this was ReZero season 2 part 2 episode number 11 and that was a really amazing episode and uh, yeah like uh, the next episode will be the, the end I'm quite sad so yeah so anyways guys so thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in the next video if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel and that will help a lot and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share i'll be sure to check them out so yeah guys um, i'll be back with another re episode next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day